Today I am an independent consultant uh, with my own consulting firm, Retail Pivot Consulting, helping both uh, brands and service providers continue to increase and build on their customer experience. But I had an amazing 26-year dream career with Petco Animal Supplies. In my last role, I was the Chief Customer Officer. Some of the trends from a customer perspective, and as we know, our customer is always evolving. I think what's happening, particularly that we need to pay attention to as CX professionals, is that customers are getting a fatigue on surveys. And that's a lot of what we rely upon in terms of getting our insights and data. So I think the things that we need to be thinking about as professionals is how are we going to get the information and the feedback because customer response rates are going down and I think what we have to be thinking about is how do we build that into the customer experience to make it seamless. And there are some companies out there that are doing a great job and I'm constantly monitoring and thinking that we need to be thinking further about that aspect. And also if you think about digital automation in particular what's happening is as we automate uh, some of those basic tasks when you think about contact centers I think we're going to need to be thinking further around how do we hire and how do we train more on empathy because agents will end up being uh, more like escalations type agents and dealing with more of the emotional more difficult and complex customer issues. The experience has been great. Mm -hmm. I, I think there's a great balance of innovation and also practical tips that are being shared. I also like the smaller aspect of the conference, so there's much more opportunity to network. Mm -hmm. And some of the things that I think stood out this morning is there's an awful lot around culture yeah. and around the fact that people are at different stages of their customer journey, and there's been a lot of sharing of, of that as well. I would say the first part started with culture and we used a lot of storytelling to really create you know, visual and, and contextual uh, but to actually explain more of the why of uh, what we're looking to do as well as how to go about it and uh, I think that with pets uh, there's a, a natural bond and we capitalized a lot on that relationship with our pet parents. Mm. So I think the culture was a big impact. And the other area I would say is putting in place a closed loop process and having our frontline partners within the company uh, really close the loop directly with the customer. We learned so much from that and they actually really did enjoy talking to customers about their experiences, both detractors and promoters. Mm. Uh, the other area I'm most proud of that was a very, it's a thing that most companies really do find challenging, we were able to get through it in our organization, is that is truly turning those actions into insights. And there were two ways in which we did that. Getting the feedback from the customers and really prioritizing those five or six big nuggets and pain points, also capitalizing on what customers loved, our wow experiences, and then creating a, a group of data scientists in the company that actually did a lot of advanced analytics to help us uh, predict when customers potentially were gonna churn, as well as just to predict uh, different ways in which we could go about um, speaking to the customers.